That's a really good musical intro for this episode. Like, it, one of the best song choices of this season so far. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for It's a Terrible Life, episode 17 of Supernatural season 4. This is the episode kind of similar to that of changing channels. Um, again, kind of an alternate reality. This is where the brothers find themselves in a completely different world from that of the, what they're regular to, but they don't have no memory of it. Dean is a high class a stock investor, or business manager, whatever he is. And Sam is a plebbing in a cubicle who does, uh, did you turn it on and turn it off again, customer service support, and that's a nightmare. That is literally a terrible life. I, I never want to do cubicle work. I've heard people talk about it. But the episode is a catharsis for the brothers, even though they can be put in alternate stories, alternate lives, alternate realities, they will still find a way to figure out that something's off, and they will even figure out a way to work together to hunt down a monster. It's got a kind of a funny cameo too from ghost facers those guys are appear in this episode they make a lot of references to the winchesters like those winchester douchebags i thought that was good considering i really am not the most enjoyable of these characters we also see zachariah be introduced and zachariah would come to be one of the most pivotal adversaries i would say because he's not a villain more so because he's doing what he's being told to do but he obviously has a believement of it i like zachariah as a character so the fact that he would reappear in the 300th episode while it was really cool to see him i thought what a strange out of nowhere cameo for this guy but zachariah is going to prove to be one of the biggest adversaries slash characters in Dean's life heading into season five. The episode's fun, it's got some good humor, it also has one of the goriest kills in this show when that guy gets sandwiched by the elevator. It's not so much the act of it, it's how much they went into the blood. The fact that Sam gets covered in it and then they show the twitching corpse, like that's some significant gore when you actually look at it they try to hide it in an angle but it's still quite visible all the carnage it's interesting to me because i just worked on a zombie feature this last year and just how the corpse and the body looks i was like oh yeah we did that stuff for the zombies and whatnot on our show it's a standout moment for the episode and i think that's why i enjoy this episode a lot more than i thought i would because it's got great music choices, the humor in the episode is really well done, the Ghost Facers cameo is really well placed, the gore of that kill is really well done, the fight with the weird ghost guy was pretty well done, there's a little bit of good spooks in this episode, and then as well as Zachariah ending the episode on a cliffhanger. There's so many cliffhangers in season 4 that I'm actually starting to slightly get used to it, and I know that this is something that I should. I know that they're gonna continue on to season five as well, but just in comparison to the last three seasons, being one, two, three, the amount of really to be continued that you could add at the end of all these episodes is nuts. So in the end, I'm gonna give It's a Terrible Life a five out of seven. It's a really enjoyable episode. It's one of those good alternate reality stories. It has a solid basis. It has good gore, it has good scares, it has good humor. And as well, it leaves you off on a cliffhanger. I asked you guys for your comments about this episode, so let's read those off now. This show has so many great what if alternate universe episodes that this one pales in comparison for me. It feels like a rehash of what is and what should never be, since both episodes share the same what if Sam and Dean were never hunters premise. But whereas, where, uh, season and then but whereas episode 20 of season 2 was interesting, heart-wrenching, and gave meaningful character insight, this one just feels like a waste of time, especially coming off of the last episode, which set up so much tension and drama. Now, in terms of, yeah, what-ifs, it definitely is the one that I actually keep forgetting happens, considering there is going to be a lot more that will happen later on in the show. But I don't think it's terrible, um, I don't think it's bad. Maybe passable might be it, but yeah, I can see where you're coming from in the comparisons. I love what is and what never should be. It's one of my favorite episodes of Supernatural ever, though. Ah, it's a terrible life. It's hard for me to pinpoint how I feel about this episode coming off the heels of Head on a Pin, which is probably in the top five best episodes of the series for me. I really... I wouldn't call it bad, but going back to formula seems slightly underwhelming. I dig the introduction to Zachariah, and I've always liked him as an OP antagonist to the boys. 
It does feel a little weird at after all the weight crushing down on Dean in the last episode. By the end of this episode, he's just down to continue business as usual, but I guess he has to be on board for the show to happen. All in all, Terrible Life, 3 out of 7 for me. Now, maybe I have been a little bit more lenient on this episode, but again, it was really well put together in terms of what it is. Um, I think it's just a, a very big reason for it is what's to come will make this episode kind of pale out. I loved It's a Terrible Life. Sometimes you need a break from the ugly tension and reminded why heroes are heroes. Not everything is grim and hateful. More importantly, Sam and Dean are suited for what they do, are good at it, and would be miserable without it. That this came from Zachariah doesn't make it any less true, and it's just fun watching Sam and Dean work together naturally and seamlessly. I did like some of the elements. I especially liked them trying to figure out how to hunt a ghost. I thought that was very well done. I think it's a very overlooked aspect of It's a Terrible Life. It's just how expendable humanity is to the angels when it comes to their agendas. This episode in itself is a smarter approach of how the Winchester's lives are being controlled than in season 15 with a goofy contrast of when Sam and Dean lost their plot armor. One thing I do like, however, is that even with the Angels trying to mess with Dean and Sam's lives in clever ways, they can't take away the Winchester's abilities of being hunters. It makes sense that only Chuck can do that since he created his creations. And that's a bit of a stretch even, too. That's, still, that's trying to make up for anything in Season 15. But um, no, I, I, I like this because, yeah, even though they don't really know what they are, they have those inherent abilities, which 15 would then go and kind of throw out to the wind. This episode also introduces one of my favorite love-to-hate characters, Zachariah. The episode is also wonderfully horrific, but I'm genuinely surprised that we got to see a suicide on screen from a pencil. I know it's so simple of a scene for somebody shooting themselves, but I'm shocked more and more how the scene was allowed. Also, I laugh uh, how Joe is looked at as a sister and not a ship for the Supernatural creative team. All in all, it's a fun episode on the outside, but... On the inside, it's actually pretty sinister just to see how controlled the Winchester's lives are from the angels to bring about the apocalypse. Yeah, I could give you that. I uh, No, I do like how there's all these little things you'll see as we head towards Season 5. And then the last one here, after two of the most emotionally exhausting episodes in the series, we needed some le levity. Enter It's a Terrible Life, a lighthearted and funny episode with some good themes in the end. Amnesia is one of the three kisses of death concepts for any show, and yet Supernatural used it to its advantage with great results. This episode also introduces us to Zachariah, who is the biggest dick in the entire series, which is saying a lot. However, at this point, we don't know that, so I have no choice but to love him because he tells Dean to stop whining. Yeah, actually, I, I really like Zachariah. I I do much enjoy his character, and the fact that he didn't really ever come back, yeah, there was a 300th episode, which just felt so weird, but this character is going to have a finality to him, but he's still such a long-staying character in this show. But now, here comes the big one. The monster at the end of the book. This episode already had a huge breaking moment in the show in terms of just like the whoa, what has been happening this whole time? But now, with Supernatural having done what it did to Chuck, oh god, this episode's gonna be somewhat harsh to watch considering what they would further do, in my opinion, butchering of the character. Give me your guys' comments and thoughts about that episode, and I will read those off in the next episode review. Otherwise, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.